Welcome to this tutorial on merging Atlas TI Mac projects. Here in this um, first example, I show also the workflow on how to set up a team project and then how to merge. In this master project, one document has been assigned and you see it has been done by a user called administrator. And this administrator has added um, three codes called one, two, three. Um, and one code is orange and one is green. And there is also one code group called group one. The entire project is called Masters, as you can see the title. So here I'm showing the um, user management. You can add new users. Currently, it's very simple. You can add users, but you can delete any users yet. But uh, this will also um, be extended over time. So once you have created a user account, you probably have done that already from the very beginning. Um, you can just choose a user um, that should be uh, used in the author field, which is important for team projects so you can see who, is does, who does what. So I'm exporting this project now, just demonstrating the workflow uh, for a team member to send it to a team member. So I'll call it masters for team member and I add a date uh, to the file name because they will be probably a couple, uh, a few rounds of merging and then it's always good to have the date um, in the file name so each team member knows that this is the um, correct project file they are supposed to work on. And I um, put this stuff on my desktop so I can pick it up. So I'm basically uh, using just one laptop now to, to illustrate this process. So now I'm the team member, so I'm switching roles now and opening the master project that was sent to me. And this workflow is important um, because every item is getting an, a unique ID when it is created. So the first thing the team member should do is uh, rename the the project so the administrator later on doesn't get um, projects that all have the same name so I call it project X whatever name your project might have and added my initials SF so there's the one document the coder or the team member should work on um, so there are already three segments coded as examples for example now as team member I'm coding three more segments using the codes that are already there. So I don't recreate codes one, two, and three because if I would do it on my own in a separate project, these codes would uh, get a different ID. What I can um, do, I can comment on a code that uh, what I'm doing here at the moment and just to um, make it more obvious I'm just uh, writing here comments about um, this code and add my name here too um, in the end just for illustration purposes at this stage. I could also give you know code a different color but then the administrator has to choose um, which version to keep and um, which to change. So I'm adding a new code now. This doesn't exist in the master project, so that's okay. And um, so now while doing it, this code 4 has received a unique ID. And I'm applying this code 4 to um, one of the data segments. So I now save my project and export it again. So if you merge, you need uh, a transfer bundle and that's why you need to export it first. Normally if you work on you know on different computers in a team this is uh, kind of um, normal anyway because in order to exchange projects you need to export it but I also need to do it here even though um, the projects live on my computer. So now I'm the project administrator again and I'm opening the master project because now I want to merge that team members project into the master 
So the first thing I'm doing here is again renaming the master file and calling it merge one. So now it's the first merge round. I'm adding uh, a date to this project file. This is not a must, but uh, this makes it easier uh, to recognize the conversions of your file later on. So now I go to project, merge with project, and I select the project for my team member so it can easily see it now it's um, amongst the different versions because it's called project X and then there's my initials. So what I then get when I select a project is a uh, window called summary of changes and now I'm opening up um, this the little um, it's up tr uh, trees or branches and it will tell me what is going to be added to the project and what uh, could be changed. So if I want to only add um, stuff to the project, I keep the option keep all local changes. But if I want to um, also make changes to something existing in the master, I need to check that second option, override all local changes. Otherwise, I wouldn't get the comment I've made to the already existing um, code, the comment I wrote. So now at the end, you're free to create, uh, to save the merge report. So you have an overview of what um, has been done. So I'm saving this merge report now and it kind of tells me what was in the summary window. But if I would have uh, chosen the local option and um, the, the item that's called change uh, would not be included. So let's review the project. I still have that one document um, in it. And then I have a number uh, of new quotations because now I have added a few quotations. So you see who the author is um, in the creator column. And now we see codes one, two, three, and it has a comment. And the fourth code was added, and you see also uh, the creator of um, that code. And we also still see code group one, and uh, it, as previously, it contains the first three codes the administrator already had added to that, so nothing has changed there. So once you're happy with that, um, you can save the project. And if you don't, you can always undo merge uh, the edit option. And now I'm exporting it again, well, just to show you the routine. So now after the merge, then I can distribute it again to my team members and uh, the process can continue. In the next example, I show you how to not to do it. This is the master project again, so it has this one document called Three Belkins Discussion, and it has the three codes, so that's all the same as it was before, so the administrator has set it up. So, but at the same time, also the team member uh, starts to work on the project, so the administrator is actually not um, distributing a a transfer bundle to a team member. I call this project code 34 because um, you will see we have um, um, codes 3, 4, and 5 in it. But this team member also has added document 5 and also has again, um, you know, uh, added document 3, has added some quotations here, and um, has added codes 3, 4, and 5. So 4 and 5. It's uncritical because it's not in the master project, but code three is already there. And the team member has actually um, done some coding on document five, which is also not in the master project, but document three is already in the master project. And, and just to show you, this person is actually locked in as team member. And now this kind of second copy of document three um, receives now one quotation. So just to show you then what happens if 
comes the project administrator set it up and then a second person sets up the same project so in order for the project to be able to be merged by the administrator it needs to be exported uh, even though it lives on my computer um, we still need to export it at the moment um, and normally um, you have to do that anyway if you exchange between computers so now I'm switching on roles again um, receiving this project uh, from uh, my team member so I merge into the master first I rename it as before and just uh, give it a bit of a different name now uh, merge um, from one from team member and add the date and now I merge this project code 345 into it yes yeah, so I need to pick up on a, an Apple Puck file and now it's that one here so now we get kind of an overview of what's happening and here we see everything is added, nothing is changed. So also document three and five is added to the um, existing project. And then a number of quotations and codes and so on. Yeah, and here the quotations that the team member has um, created and also uh, codes three, four and five. Yeah. It adds code three again because as it has been set up at a different in a different project and most likely also at a different computer um, it has a different ID now let's see what's happening when we merge this project so actually we have three documents in there now um, the Belkin parenting block discussion is duplicated uh, and be careful in this version um, we cannot merge documents and so here you see again um, the quotations of the administrator and the team member and now also here we have a duplication of code 3 because I have been set up in different project so it's not about the code name it's about the ID behind it so the unique identifier also the code group is duplicated because it has the same name but it has a different ID so Atlas is not recognizing it as being the same if you have a duplicate code it's not such a big deal um, which could happen if everybody starts to code independently you can simply merge it in the Windows version a fix was implemented because it kind of all happened uh, it happens uh, once in a while that people do um, set up projects at different locations and then um, documents are duplicated in the Windows version you already have a merge document option which is not implemented in the, um, the Mac version yet so be careful if you work in teams that you follow the workflow and you have been uh, seeing on uh, the screen already for the last uh, couple of seconds um, so please follow the setup that is recommended one person is setting up the project and distribute it to team members um, by exporting the project and then they work on it um, save it under a different name create a uh, export the project again create a Atl Park file and send that back to the project administrator for merging